Michael? I'm Dr. Redding. Dr. Reesberg asked me to see you. I hear you had an emergency. Yeah. I couldn't breathe. Well, clean up. Let's have a listen. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Again. Okay. Okay. Your lungs still have some congestion, but they're better than they were. Better? The antibiotics should be taking effect. Your fever will come down soon. What's wrong with him? The tests we did last night show that you have pneumonia. Pneumonia? I thought it was the flu or something. Are you two lovers? There are a lot of gay men in my practice. Yes. How long have you been together? Uh, two years. I'm Peter Hill. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. You should be a part of this. Michael. The type of infection you have, pneumocystis carinae, doesn't usually attack someone who's otherwise healthy. So we ran some very specific blood tests to see if your immune system was functioning normally. And the results indicated disorder. I'm sure you've heard of acquired immune deficiency syndrome. AIDS? Are you telling me I have AIDS? We only make this diagnosis when there's the presence of an opportunistic infection like this type of pneumonia. I couldn't have AIDS, it's not possible. I know this is difficult for you, but I want you to try and listen. We know a lot more than we did a year ago, even six months ago. We've isolated a virus that we believe causes AIDS. There are experimental drugs. Treatment is improving. I'm going to leave you on the IV for a week, and then if you're doing as well as you are now, which I'm hoping you will be, I'll send you home on oral medication. Now try and get some rest. I'll come back and see you in a while. Peter? is served. You deliver. When we have to. I was about to send out. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Apparently there's someone on the staff who hasn't heard my lecture. What lecture? That you can't get AIDS just by being around someone who has it, that it's only transmissible through intimate sexual contact or blood. Then how did I get it? I haven't had any blood transfusions lately, haven't been with anyone except Peter. Has he? Of course not. We have a relationship. I'm only asking because we've discovered that it's possible for someone to be a carrier of the disease without actually showing the symptoms himself. You mean you can pass it on without actually getting it? What about before the two of you were together? What, you want a complete rundown of my sexual history? Yeah. As complete as you're willing to give me. I had a few affairs, some one-night stands, if that's what you're getting. Michael, I'm not judging you. It's important that we know because the number of contacts you had would increase the chances of your being exposed to someone who was contagious. It was years ago before anyone knew anything about... The problem is, Michael, that we don't know how long the incubation period for the disease is. It might be five years, it could be longer. We're just not sure. You're not sure very much, are you? Only that the number of new cases is doubling every nine to 12 months. Well, I'm sure of one thing. I'm going to get over this. I am going to be fine. I'm sending you home. Your x-rays have cleared up. You're sending me home? 
Well, I'm going home. I want you to take at least a month off. A month off? A month. Get plenty of rest, uh, proper diet, all the common sense things. In the meantime, if you have any questions... Questions? Call. You're damn right I have a question. How do I live my life? How do I tell my friends, the people I work with, that I have the gay plague? How do I do that? It's not just a gay disease, Michael. It never was. The virus doesn't know or care what your sexual preference is. Gay men have been the first to get it in this country, but there have been others. Hemophiliacs, intravenous drug users, and it hasn't stopped there. What about Peter? I mean, when I get home, what? Touching is fine, hugging. But I'd be careful about being more intimate than that. I wonder how many other people will want to shake my hand when they find out what I've got. Do yourself a favor, Michael. Don't ask too many questions you can't answer. 